friends and subscribers. I'm at one of the biggest China gold coin outlets in all of China. Let's take a step inside and see what we can find. This place is like a museum or a bank. Very, very clean. Very well organized, but uh, select products here. Only the new stuff. Um, this is one of the three charter franchise stores. Uh, year of horse coins they rival anything that the Perth Mint puts out in my opinion they're superior to the Perth Mint especially those bimetallic year of horse very nice it's very impressive that's a uh, big old block of silver that's uh, more than a kilo Set of tiger bars. Very nice. Rabbit. Special plates here. It's another coin uh, seal machine. Different than the other one. Uh, smaller too, but that puts pressure on the seal. So when they vacuum pack it or they press the coin into the plastic, it's able to be airtight. There's a fractional panda year set, 1982 to 2007. Fractional silver set, three yuan face value, 82 through 2007. It's missing 2007 through 2014, but that would be one more bar on the end. So one, two, three, four, five, six possible bars with five coins in each. Notice how each bank has their own silver round. It's a great way to promote the bank and uh, also get people to invest in silver. Very lovely design in this set here. You've got the one ounce and you've got the uh, fractional gold looks like uh, two fish which is a kind of a New Year's um, means good fortune in China two fish a couple of interesting items here here's a, um, a round that's year of tiger that is quite attractive I hadn't seen that before but that comes actually from Royal Canadian Mint and uh, that's about 30 grams 780 yuan not too bad for um, this collectible. I think it's got a fifteen uh, dollar value from uh, Royal Canadian Mint. And there's a couple of Australian coins, Kookaburra. The one on the left has a privy. Uh, privy it looks like a panda privy. Difficult to tell, but um, I haven't seen that before. And the other one is a uh, bimetallic difference between this store and the other China gold coin stores is that this is state run. This is state run? Yeah. Also, this is a government store. Yeah. But state the, owned store. State owned. Yeah. But the other China gold coin stores are not? Yes. Are not government owned? Uh, it's... Uh, Just this one and two others. This is one of the three. No, it, it's... Uh, okay, so this is one of the only uh, ones. Uh, okay, so this is this is a bank owned store, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the other stores are not bank owned. Uh, it's They're private fran franchises. Pri okay, private franchises. So that's why the prices don't budge. There's no negotiation yeah. because it is uh, well, it's essentially owned by the government because the government uh, owns the banks. In another store, you can negotiate and uh, have uh, a bargain. Okay, let's go to the other China Gold Coin store and then we'll uh, get down to bargain. 
这个的话，这个和这个是，这个树叶和这个树叶是一样的，相同的。一样的。嗯、这个就不一样，这个就少了嘛，三叶。So these these were、like、然后呢？国宝、咸阳和上海。哦。Which means？ 然后这两个不同点就在这个，这个是小的，这个是大的。You get much more information than me. Yeah. See, because they they, they have small date, large date. 然后这两个是一样的。Different design on the leaves. 这两个不一样。On the leaves. Take a look at this. Uh, this didn't happen too many years, but on some pandas, the mints didn't get on the same page, and they, they designed different coins. You can see that those are the same. This one is small leaf. And so the mintages are different, even though they're the same year. And that's what makes uh, coin collecting exciting. Different government mint. Different government mint, but they were supposed to be the same. Just like with uh, Dragon and Phoenix, this was originally made in 1989, but because of Tiananmen disaster, they stopped minting them, and they released it in 1990. Yet, there are some 1989s that were released, leaked, even though they're forbidden by the government. So those are the ones that are worth a lot of money. Beautiful coin. Check that out. That's a uh, penguin. 1997 PF69 penguin and uh, two magpie birds, PF-68. I haven't seen that before. And then a eagle in flight, PF-69. These are all octagon-shaped rounds, um, something unique and tough to find. So that might be something you want to look at for the collector in you. 69 Ultra Cameos. There's a uh, 84 proof and a 91 proof. Notice the P privy on the corner. In the 1990s, they put the P privy on there. So you know it's a proof. There's some confusion about that. But before that, in the 80s, they did not put the P for proof. They just uh, released it as a proof. Very nice. This shop here, next to China Gold Coin, got a lot of certified coins. Very nice. Unique item there. There's a, looks like a round with a hole in the middle, but they broke it up into four corners. Each corner has uh, some kind of landscape throughout China. Um, a unique idea to make it uh, divisible like that.